what is up there homies it is your boy justin facetti back again with another theta token video another theta token update just a friendly reminder if you're new to the channel trying to find as much theta news updates nfts or any kind of theta partnerships please hit that like and subscribe button check out all the links down below in the description for all the links i post in this video as well staking your theta tokens to my guardian node either way hop on my channel hop onto theta network but over help yourselves out earn as much t feel passively as possible and utilize it however you want on theta drop open theta any of the sub chains on theta network or just withdrawing it back to your wallet. I do want to briefly announce of our sponsor for today's video of Caleb and Brown, but a little bit more on that later. We're going to see all the information that I have for you guys. Really, I'm excited to share for you guys. Seeing here, we're going to see that. All right, then, homies, as you can tell, it's been a little like a few more days since the release for the Edge Cloud beta. We're going to go on to do a couple things and highlights as well as some questions that some people may have in regards to the newest update with Data Network. If you're running your own Edge Cloud, comment down below on how it's working out for you. I've had some troubles myself and in the making of this video i'm still trying to fix some kinks into the edge cloud beta but regardless put any thoughts in the comments down below starting on here with mitch Liu, starting on x we're going to see that here mitch says congrats to the network team and community for the first time ever enterprises and ai research labs around the world can tap into a dynamic supply demand gpu marketplaces democratizing access to computing power so we're going to go on to the theta networks post as well today marking a defining milestone for theta as they launch the beta version of the edge clouds hybrid edge cloud architecture built to power the future of distributed computing contribute your gpu resources and start earning today so for those who are earning already what are you guys putting your price at for your gpu resources and for those who are still trying to learn i do have some resources for you guys as well in this video going on to another post by mitch just talking about the coverage from all these other websites that have been talked about data so it says more pr coverage from data networks edge cloud hybrid launch the next generation gpu marketplace for decentralized computing the thing is though it's nice having all these other websites but the thing is i did check each one out and it kind of looks like a copy and paste of each article onto each of these websites so there wasn't really too much of a difference that i was able to tell i didn't read the entirety of it but when i read through certain paragraphs and headlines it was basically the same so i don't know if it's just because it's just easier coverage by doing that of course but we do want to see some sort of interview process maybe with some sort of person on the website or the writers themselves rather than just copy and pasting it onto other websites just to say it's pr coverage but in reality it's I guess it's just the same news just copy and paste it so it's not really different than what we already know before going on to some more news and updates for you guys I do want to mention about today's sponsor of Caleb and Brown so just a quick message from them things that's hard to mimic is good quality service and customer service and being able to reach out to someone in regards to your cryptocurrency with Caleb and Brown they'll be able to provide you that access that opportunities and information that a lot of people may need in the near future so seeing here we're gonna look at a little bit more of this affiliate link that you can find down below in the description as you can tell here with Caleb and Brown delivers a personalized and premium service to crypto trading each customer gets their own dedicated broker to contact at any time getting the latest insights on crypto trends guidance and when you need it and the initial introduction for my channel scroll down a little bit more things you can do 24 7 customer support globally industry leading cold storage solutions and unlimited free access to your personal broker offers peace of mind whether you're trading as individual company trust or self-managed retirement here are no joining fees broker support safe and secure favorable pricing on assets rapid trades deep liquidity things going on to a little bit more you can chat message call as well as provide some feedback that is always welcome i believe with caleb brown has the potential to help those who achieve certain financial or cryptocurrency goals check out caleb brown and definitely check it down below using the affiliate link thanks for the guys listening for this introduction and back to the video so going on to Jihee now, just seeing some things that he has mentioned. They're thrilled to announce the launch of the Edge Cloud Hybrid Beta, a major milestone for Theta Network that brings decentralized and Edge Cloud compute together like never before. With this release, Theta Edge Cloud is now a decentralized marketplace that connects the supply and demand loop for GPU computing power. It allows node operators their supply side to set their own hourly rental rates. Meanwhile, users, the demand side, can select nodes that meet their performance requirements and budget constraints when launching workloads. This market-driven approach helps keeps GPU compute prices competitive and transparent across the platform. So for basically saying myself, me, myself, or you guys who are running your own Edge Cloud on your own computer, you set your own prices, you set how long you want to run jobs, and it's really nice because once the job is over or if you want to turn off your computer, it just jumps onto the next available accessible GPU node. So there's just some other things and bullet points we'll highlight in these articles and a quick like Q&A 
for those who may have some similar questions like I did. Going on to another part though for Jihi, it says as a user on the Edge Cloud, the demand side, you can tap into the decentralized community nodes in several powerful ways. As shown in the screenshots below, use them directly as GPU compute nodes, deploy your own dedicated AI models, or access their on-demand API models, which runs a portion of its inference jobs on community operated nodes behind the scenes. Additionally, as node operators that supply side, you can easily get started by installing the Edge Cloud client software here. You can also define your hourly rental that's been mentioned as well. This is just the beginning with Edge Cloud Hybrid. We're building the foundation for decentralized market driven for future of AI and GPU computing. Whether you're a builder, researcher, or node operator, jump in and be a part of the revolution. The future is here. But also guys, just a friendly reminder, definitely do your own research. Definitely be responsible with any of your investments because none of these videos are financial advice. I do want to hop into a little bit more of the questions that some people may have. Starting with Data Network says, incredible uptake from the community in the first 24 hours. Here are some additional FAQs that they'll be adding to their doc over the time to address new issues. So just some frequently asked questions. Starting on this Medium article as well, this was posted like two days ago, so when the release was as well, so about end of June of 2025. To start off, what is the Edge Cloud? We've already mentioned it before, but just to reiterate, Theta Edge Cloud is a decentralized GPU compute marketplace. It connects those who need access to GPU resources with those who have unused GPU capacity. Contributors can earn rewards in T-Fuel while developers and organizations and gain access to scalable, cost-efficient infrastructure. What is the Edge Cloud Client? The Edge Cloud Client is a lightweight software package that lets you contribute your GPU power to Theta Edge Cloud. Once installed, your machine becomes part of the global infrastructure capable of running containerized jobs. These are the system requirements because I tried to run it. Actually, it's kind of funny. I tried to run it on my first computer that I had since college, my own custom-built computer. But back at the time, it was probably back in the heyday. It was really good. But now it's kind of like past its time in terms of being being up to date with the technology and the requirements that you can see here so definitely check out your specs guys on your computer before you try to download any kind of software also just be responsible on where you're downloading it make sure it is a legitimate website machines meeting the above specs will be much more likely to get high reward jobs more over clients who are used to you cloud services like AWS or GCP Google cloud provider may come up with high expectations so it's a good idea to aim for consistent uptime when being used the GPU will likely be running for near full capacity so make sure you an internet connection and power supply and cooling systems are in good shape this is probably another question is how are the rewards calculated rewards are calculated in the usd and converted into t fuel payouts are made monthly between the first and the fifth of each month node operators can set their own hourly gpu rental rate the marketplace allows demand side users to select nodes based on their price and performance and here's how to get started so here are just some diagrams on how to get started so here i'm just clicking away just to make sure the setup progress is pretty straightforward but here is that installation guide that you guys can see right here as well. Some other questions are what types of jobs can I run? The Theta Edge Cloud supports any containerized job requiring GPU acceleration including AI inference and generative AI models, text to image and chatbot applications, video encoding and transcoding, 3D rendering pipelines, financial modeling and scientific simulations. Jobs are routed to the most optimal mix of Edge and Cloud GPUs for efficient and cost effective processing and here's how you I guess you can submit your job this way and here's just a little diagram on how it's being used. So take a moment here if you'd like to pause and just see a little bit more. Other questions are can I select specific GPUs? The answer is yes. You can categorize it based on your preferences. What happens if a node goes offline? So that's what we kind of mentioned before. It says an automatic failover, job containerization, intelligent reall reallocation of workloads. So if a node goes offline mid-test, the system will reroute the job to another available GPU to ensure completion without manual intervention. These are the things that are available at the launch of the Edge Cloud based application interface access for job submission, intelligent job routing access across edge and cloud, node performance monitoring, things that are to be updated, job opt out and preference setting for node operators, enhanced marketplace insights, who should use the Theta Edge Cloud, it's going to be mainly geared towards developers building gen AI tools and AI agents, video professionals handling large scale transcoding, researchers running scientific simulations, GPU owners looking to earn passive income from idle hardware, and then these are the resources for those who want to go into some more specifics as to like definitions, how to, guidelines, all that, it's going to be listed right here, it's nice that it's placed at the end of this article. But regardless, it's nice seeing this new update with the Theta Edge Cloud, the beta. It's allowed for the community members. This is what everyone has been aiming for. So it's only mid-year of 2025, guys. So I'm looking forward to what Theta Network has in store for us for the rest of this year. And then all the other customers, partners, school, teams, 
esports, whatever they have in store for us. I'm here all for it. So I'm really hoping that Theta Network one day, hopefully we can work more direct conversations rather than me just always just covering the news. But it's just fun having this YouTube channel, just seeing and staying caught up with all the new updates in the world, basically. But I'm glad to be here. I'm hoping this is the right side of infrastructure, Web3, whatever you want to call it, crypto blockchain whatever it is i'm hoping on the right side i'm hoping we're on the right side of history guys but again none of these videos are financial advice and it's only time will tell as to how this technology will evolve into something bigger or maybe it may not again be responsible with any of your investment guys but overall that's all i really have for today's video guys thank you so much if you're an og viewer and subscriber and coming back to the channel would not be here without you if you're a new viewer though trying to find as much theta news updates nfts or any kind of theta partnerships please hit that like and subscribe button check out all the links down below in the description for all the links that i posted in this video as well staking your theta tokens to my guardian node either way help on my channel help the theta network but overall help yourselves out earn as much t fuel passively as possible and utilize it however you want on theta drive up open theta any of the sub chains on theta network or just withdrawing it back to your wallet really i'm excited for the future of theta network future partners any collaborations businesses things like that i'm still going to be optimistic of course that's the reason why this channel is still growing and people are still subscribing to the channel and people are still staking so i'm glad to say that there's still hundreds of thousands of theta tokens on my guardian node i am also thankful for the sponsors that are coming onto the channel i also would not be here without you guys so thank you very much really am looking forward to the future of theta though until the next theta video till the next theta update it is your boy justin Setti. so try to keep up a height deuces